Hi everyone, it's Kayla. Welcome to or back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be working on my new hard mode island called Gypsum. And yes, we are looking at the new campsite villager today. I'm going to be building the campsite. I'm going to be working on some dailies and stuff like that. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content like this. And let's get into it. So as you can see, we do have Izabubu joining us today. So the queen herself is joining the island. Very exciting, very exciting. So if you're wondering, Kayla, did you get any cursed starters? Why, yes, I did. I got Paula, who is kind of cursed and Sterling, who I actually quite like. Um, honestly, Paula's starting to grow on me, like we're becoming besties. We're kind of bonding, like every day she's the one that I give gifts to, she's the one that I talk to, she's just always there. Um, and she's becoming really sweet. So yeah, let's start off by checking what Sable has to say. I think I'm getting my Able Sisters um, store soon, so. And if you guys are not familiar with hard mode, it is a mode created by Nintendoc and it is amazing. There are tons of rules that kind of restrict the gameplay to make it more like back in 2020 when everything was really simple and you're just grinding for stuff and enjoying the game for what it is. I'll put the rules on the screen for you. But yeah, I've been enjoying it so much. I've honestly have I haven't been able to put my switch down, which is such a good sign because now I'm excited to make so much content and play every day again like I used to. I was kind of burnt out from Animal Crossing for a while, um, like many of you, so I'm really happy with this resurgence in playing and stuff. But okay, now let's get to work. I have to find the perfect spot for the tailor shop, so I think I'm going to put it on the right side because if you're like me, you just like put all the houses together in like the, the main area by the plaza and then the rest of the island is just barren. So we're gonna put it kind of further away. I don't have a bridge on this side, so I need to save some bells because your girl is broke as heck in this hard mode game. Um, but that's what makes it fun, you know, just like working so hard for bells, paying my debt, it's a whole thing. So I'm excited to, to become a bellionaire just naturally and not just going to treasure islands and basically getting it the easy way which is there's no problem with that but I, I just realized that it kind of made the game too easy for me so this is truly hard oh it's Paula see what I mean she's always just everywhere she's just omnipresent um but I have a gift that I've been hoarding in my inventory for a few days I have like these pears um which is not my native fruit so I'm sure she'll enjoy it let's see what she says there's nothing tastier than some pears. Okay, I'm glad she likes them. I want to be able to get her photo as soon as possible so she can move the heck out. Um, and I want to be able to find stitches on this island. I guess stitches is my dreamy for the hard mode island. And I don't know. I went on a villager hunt the other day with one ticket and I got an eagle. So we got Celia and I was just like so surprised that I actually got someone decent <laughs> with one ticket. Can you just imagine if I had one ticket in my hand, all the dreams, hopes, just dying if I get Harry on that one ticket. So honestly, I'm pretty happy with the villagers I have on my island currently. I have Gabby as well, who autofilled, who is super cute. We love, we stand, I'm obsessed. But yeah, right now we are starting our journey to three stars. So I'm probably gonna do some streams of trying to reach three stars, which is gonna take freaking ages, guys, on a hard mode island. So yeah, usually I speed through it in like a few hours, a few hours. This is probably gonna take a few months, let's be real. All right, we have the campsite construction kit. Who are we gonna get? It's a mystery. I hope that I get Shep or Raymond because they're my favorite smugs. I think Shep is my favorite smug. Like he has always been one of my favorite villagers. So please Animal Crossing gods, give me the boy because I cannot bear to get freaking Beardo or Hippo or any of those well-loved villagers, right? We all love them. Um, I really hope I don't get them because in hard mode, you basically have to keep all the villagers until they ask to leave, then they have to leave. You can't like time travel to kick them out. So yeah, this is gonna be a struggle. Okay, so now we need to gather some materials. I have like no materials, guys. I need iron nuggets and all types of wood for the campsite construction kit. So 
And every time I'm looking for iron nuggets, guys, the rocks are just like, no, I'm not gonna give you iron nuggets. I'm gonna give you rocks, like tons of stones. And then I just struggle because I can't really time travel much in hard mode. So if you know, you know, it is, it is really, really difficult. But I managed to get 15 iron nuggets, which is a freaking miracle because there are way too many stones. It's, stones are just like the material that I find here the most. But I'm also gonna collect some tree branches just to make some tools. Ooh, and one of the things that we have to do every day is check the store and buy one thing. So I'm pretty much gonna buy everything today because I have no limits and I spend all my bells even though I have none. But everything today was super cute and fit my theme. My theme is like a rural town situation. So basically everything here, I, I need it. And my goal is basically to do all the two times daily tasks for Nook Miles. So I think that was, yeah, that was one of them, spend bells to buy items. We also have to craft a hot item, which I haven't done like ever. Also, if you can't already tell, my toxic trait is leaving things all over my island. So it looks like a treasure island. So today's hot item is the swinging bench and it is beautiful. I love this item. So I'm gonna craft one because I have no materials, like I said, um, but we're gonna sell it, see how much we get. Hopefully we get a good price because I don't have a lot of wood, but yeah, that is the all the wood that I have to my name, literally. I have like 19, 15 of each wood and I spend all day chopping wood. So I don't know what the heck is happening. And another Nookmile Daily is to get three fossils assessed, so let's go do that right now. Like honestly, Blathers is a whole mood. He's scared of bugs, he gets extremely irritated when you wake him up, like that is literally a vibe and it's me every single day. So I love Blathers. Let me know in the comments below who your favorite NPC is. I definitely like Brewster and Blathers, like just the, the two boys in the museum, they're my faves. But yeah, let's go donate these three fossils and get going with, I think the next one is swimming in the ocean, which I haven't done since literally 2020, 2021, something like that. Also, let me know in the comments below if you have ever finished a museum before and if you're planning to finish your museum on your island. And I would also want to know if you guys are doing hard mode too, because I've been loving seeing all of the content on hard mode. I've been loving hard mode myself and I've never felt this alive, y'all. <laughs> And upon leaving the museum, I bumped into one of my favorite residents. We have Clay over here who autofilled first on this island and I'm very happy about it because he's literally the smallest little bean. I'm obsessed. Everyone roasts him, but I think he's so interesting. He kind of looks like he has like a mask or a mustache or both. Um, he just looks very interesting and he's really sweet. So yeah, we're gonna go into the ocean and do that daily and then I'll be right back with you guys. This is so relaxing. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get. Is it a barnacle? It's a freaking octopus. Oh my gosh, those are horrifying.
Okay, so I think we've done all of our dailies for today, so I might time travel to the next day and get the campsite ready just so we could see who we get. Ooh, also, look at this new dress I made. This is one of my proudest moments of my life. Like, the first ever dress I made, like, a year ago was so cursed that when my villagers wore it, my eyes hurt. But this one is actually cute. I actually followed this tutorial on YouTube, and for hard mode, you basically have to change your outfit every week, and you can't wear any, like, in-game clothing. You have to create your own codes for it, so that's, like, the biggest thing for me. Um, but yeah, next we're gonna do group stretching. Before I forget, this is my favorite thing. It is so underrated and brings happiness to me. <laughs> but I'm always like two seconds behind or like just standing there in the mom I threw up pose. So let's see how we do today. It was really bad on stream last time. Okay, we're doing good. We got this. We don't got this. Oh, okay. She's got the timing. We're doing good. Honestly, this is motivating me to actually stretch in real life because my back do be hurting and I feel like this would really help me out, but I, I need to learn from these moves. Also, why are the dodos here? Like, I feel like this is the most random thing. Like, they are always in the airport, and the one time they come out, they don't come out for Christmas. They don't come out for New Year's. They come out for group daily stretching, which I admire. I think, you know, every dodo needs to get healthy, work on their bodies, just like everybody else. Well, that was super cute. I'm not gonna lie, that was adorable. All right, so let's get those Nook Miles. I think I have a bunch, which is good. Um, I have 9K currently. I remember on my old island, like in 2020, 2021 island, I had 200K Nook Miles. So that is the goal for this island. That is the goal. So now it is time to finally get the last of the iron nuggets and then we can create the campsite and then see who we have. Okay, we can finally create the campsite. So let me know in the comments below who your first campsite villager was on your new islands if you restarted, if you're doing hard mode. I am really nervous and really excited because it could go two ways. You know, it could go two ways. We could either get the most beautiful, adorable villager ever, or literally the worst thing I've ever seen, ever. Um, oh, we have Daisy May. But yeah, we're gonna go put the campsite down. I think I'm gonna put it in between these two houses over here. Also, just a disclaimer, I did do the dailies off camera um, just to be able to time travel. I know I heard that you have to do that. I didn't know that before, but here we are on the campsite day. All right, guys, time to face the music. Who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. Please be Shep. Please be Shep. Please be Shep. Shep vibes. Shep vibes. Oh gosh. <gasps> oh 
Oh my god. What in the Shrek is this? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I really thought I was gonna get Raymond today, and I got literally my worst fear. Like, this is literally my worst fear was to get Hippo, or Harry, or like, I think Hippo's the worst, but what the heck? I literally have to have this guy on my island for ages. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. This is a joke. I'm quitting Animal Crossing, guys. You heard it here first. But hey, at least we have matching toofs. Alright. Guess we have to report to Thomas that we have a celebrity on the island. We have the one and only Shrek. You know, to be fair, I've actually never had Hippo before on any island, so... I did have Harry, which is his long-lost brother, but, um... Never had Hippo, and it, we all... We all talk about Hippo, we all roast Hippo, say he's the worst villager, whatever, but, to be honest... I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna, like, befriend him. This is my plan, guys, I have a scheme. I'm gonna befriend him, give him gifts every day, become his best friend, and then he's gonna want to leave super soon. So, yes, okay, I feel better now. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna put him on the right side of the island, just like further away. Um, for no reason, just further away, by the Able Sisters, um, there's also more space there, and I don't have to see him as much. Okay, this is the perfect spot right on this cliff over here, so let me place it down. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this hard mode content. If you like to see more like this, definitely let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you know when I post next and go live. And yeah, thank you guys all for watching and watching me react to literally my worst nightmare. Um, we're not, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, have a wonderful day everyone and I will see you guys next time. Bye!